Good evening. Now we are going to see the remaining questions from assignment number two. So we have, if the length of the welded joint is 150 TF, then according to this, we are interested to find BLW. They have given clause number and, and all. And in that clause number, if we will go over there, we have 1.2 minus 0.2 LJ upon 150 T. So we have option is A. Then calculate the moment of inertia of the built-up section about its centroidal axis as shown in the figure below. So now we have this at center. So we have this will be first part. Then we have this will be second, which will be two times. And this will be we have third, which will be two times. Now H, because center of this thousand and center of whole section is the same. So H1, we have zero. Now H2, we have to take from center of this to the center of the centroidal axis. So we have this as 500, 20 mm plate. So we have this will be 510. And third, we have this as 18. So from center of this to this center, so we have this as 500, we have this as 20, 520, and the center of this. So we have this will be 529. So this will be H3. And we have this as H2. Now formula we have Ixx equal to Ixx of whole section equal to Ixx of individual plus A into H square. Now and for this we have to go for these three sections. So now we will go with first section. So Ixx of whole equal to first section H0. So we have B14. So we have this as B and D is 1000. So we have 14 into 1000 cube by 12. Plus now second section. Now here we have two times because we have plate. That is this one plate and this we have second plate. So two times Ixx, BDQ by 12. We have this as 500, D we have 20, Q by 12. Plus A into H square. Area of plate we have 500 into 20 and H we have already calculated 510 square. Then plus two times third plate we have so now we have width for this as 500 and width for third we have 400. So 400 into 18 cube by 12 divided by area of this 400 into 18 and H we have 529 square. And now if you will solve this, then I have value 1.167 into 10 raised to 9 for first term plus two times I have 933, sorry, 333.33 .33 into 10 days to 3. Plus 2.601 into 10 days to 9. Plus two times we have third part. 194.4 into 10 days to 3 plus 2.01 pi into 10 days to 9 and then we have this total value that is equal to 1.04 into 10 days to 10 millimeter to the power 4 and therefore we have option that is for 8 is D. We have ninth two plates of thickness 12 mm and 14 mm are connected using HSFG 8.8. .8. So 8.8 .8 means our value of Fu if you will go so we have Fu equal to 800 Newton per mm square. Now area of bolt we have 5 by 4 into 20 square 
this comes 314.14 mm square. Calculate the proof load. Now we have formula for proof load. F naught A and B. F naught equal to A and B into 0.7 FUB. A and B, we have to multiply it by 0.78. And into 0.7 into 800. 800 is FUB. And this comes 137.2 kilonewtons. So we have 137 kilonewtons. Then we have 10th. Two plates of thickness 40 mm each are con each are connected through 14 mm diameter bolt. Calculate reduction factor in calculation of design shear capacity BLG if required. So we have formula for this BLG and that is equal to this is given in IS. We have AD upon AD upon 3D plus LG. Now we have 8 into D, we have 14 divided by we have 3 into 14 and plate means the uh, LG means the thickness of the total plate. So we have two plates 40 mm. So we have 2 into 40. And if you calculate this value, then we have this value as 0 0.92. And therefore, we have option. That option is C. And then we have last problem. Calculate the design shear strength of ordinary bolt. So 22 mm diameter, 4.6. Means we have FU 400. And given double sharing condition. One sharing plane intercept at shank and another at threaded portion. The sizes of two connecting plates, 14 and 16. Now what is formula? To find now they have mentioned shear strength. So we have V D S B that is equal to F U upon root 3 gamma M B in bracket A N B sorry N N into A N B plus N S into A S B. And ASB means we have value that is whichever we have in uh, shank. And A and B we have to multiply it by 0 0.7. 0 0.7. FU we have 400. Upon we have root 3. Gamma MB is 1.25. NN we have N. A and B we have 0 0.78 into. Diameter of bolt is 22. Pi by 4 into 22 square. Plus NS we have 1 into ASB 5 by 4 into 22 square. And you calculate this value VDSB. I got this value of VDSB 125 kilonewtons. Just go through it. And for this one we have between 122 to 127 kilonewtons. So option is C. So likewise, we have to solve the questions that is related with uh, assignment number two. Now we will stop here only. Thank you.